companies really don't have the tools yet in finance to see the, the, the profitability at the atomic level of the company. Uh, what we do at Profit Isle is we drive the P&L to the every invoice line of every single transaction. So if uh, you bought this shirt on Tuesday and you bought it with a pair of pants, we have a full P&L for the shirt and for the pair of pants. But if someone else buys it on Friday, there's a completely separate full uh, described profit and loss statement. And because we can look at profit at the atomic level of the company, we can roll it up any way that uh, the company looks at their business, either by the shirt, by the customer, by the day of the week, time of the day, by the store, um, any of those combinations. And what Profit Isle does that is unique is we have um, very strong pattern recognition algorithms that look for these patterns of profitability. Uh, we identify the peaks of profitability, where the concentrations are underneath those averages, and we identify the valleys of profitability. And once we know where the peaks and the valleys are, we can then figure out why there's a difference between the height of your concentrated profit and the valley of your uh, losses. Uh, and those patterns are hugely valuable to companies because then they can apply them to critical processes in the company and then the people working in the company can make better decisions real time, all the time, and improve their overall profitability. When I mentioned before that we drive the, the profit and loss statement down to the, every single invoice line of every transaction, now the way we do that is we take the company's general ledger, their financial reporting system, and we, can't, we have dynamic cost functions that allow us to take every single line of the general ledger and dynamically, real time, assign it down into every single transaction. Uh, back in the 80s, um, I was one of the first people uh, to uh, work with Bob Kaplan at, at Harvard Business School on activity-based costing. Um, at Staples, we did that work. It was very effective. Uh, we saw, had huge insights into the business and were very effective using it, but we could only really do it once because it was so manual and so difficult to do again and again. Um, we're now five generations past that, and we have fully dynamic cost functions that drive these costs down. You know, for anything that's associated with a customer comes down through the customer down to the line item. Anything associated with a product comes down through the product down to the line item. And anything associated with an operation or, a, or an activity in the company goes down through all those activities down. And because we hold it at the lowest level, uh, we can coherently roll it up across any of the vectors of the business. And that's, once we have that, then we use our pattern recognition software to find the critical patterns that we call profit levers uh, that drive uh, the business forward. So there are basically four things that we do. Uh, what we do at Profit Isle is the first thing we do is we'll generate what we call a profit landscape. So we'll look below the average and we'll see, uh, we'll identify the profit peaks and the profit valleys. The next thing we do is identify the profit levers. Why, are, why do those things exist? What's going on in your company that causes those concentrations of both profit and loss? And when we do that, we also quantify the opportunity. Is this a big opportunity, a $20 million opportunity, or is this a $2 million opportunity? The third thing we do is we then associate those opportunities to one of the 21 key processes that we've identified. And we can then tell you which of these processes needs to change or which, what you need to do differently in these processes to achieve those improvements in profitability. And the fourth thing we do is we provide profit health metrics. And when I say that, we're going below the, 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 the traditional uh, profit uh, metrics that many companies have and we're moving past what have been traditional functional KPIs or key, pro key performance indicators. We're looking at profit across full processes and across multiple functions. And this is a new way to look at profitability. Uh, people aspire to that, and our software allows you to do that.